What up, family? So, it's fucking freezing. And I came out to start my truck because I gotta go pick up, well, not my truck, my brother's truck I'm using. But I came out to start it and freeze my ass off while I'm getting ready to uh, take my brother to the, or go pick up my brother from work and take him home. So, I just wanted to come up on here and talk about all the shit we've seen over the last two days. Um, a lot of motherfuckers seem to think that Twisted turning down, going to the march, and all the shit they said is no big fucking deal. Oh, the march is going to be a clusterfuck. Oh, the march is going to be this. Oh, the march is going to be that. Well, you know, I understand that if there's going to be issues and shit like that, that by all means, nobody is obligated to be there. But I'm going to tell you what, without the Juggalos, without the people that have fucking supported them over the last fucking 15 years since they joined Psychopathic, without the Juggalos, they wouldn't be where they are. We've supported them. We backed them. We fucking bought their music. We bought into their fucking, their everything. We accepted them in. We, we, they became part of everything. You know, when they came in, it was a family, and, it, and yeah, it was a, a, Twister was a big part of, you know, the whole family thing. They really brought that into, into the whole scenario, you know, and I, I, people don't fucking get it. Juggalos that have been Juggalos for a long ass time, we aren't mad. That Twisted said they're not going to go to the march. What we're mad about is we supported these motherfuckers for the last 15 years. We backed them up. We It, it was just as much Twisted as it was I, ICP the whole time. We loved them. I still love them. I'm fucking heartbroken over all the shit that's going on. It, I, literally. You know, CPN's just mad. He don't give a fuck. And I respect the shit out of him for his attitude. But me, I'm I'm a sensitive motherfucker. And I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm fucking heartbroken. Because this march, which I wish to God I could go to. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to. I'm just a poor motherfucker trying to make it in the world. If I could make it to, to D.C. And, and go to the march, by all means, I'm going to try and make it. But I'm not, I'm not hopeful that I'm going to be able to make it all the way out there. But I, I'm going to try. But here's the thing. This ain't about the fucking music. It, oh, it, oh, it's about the music. Just make it about the music. That's not what this march is for. There are, are people that because of the Juggalo gang bullshit from the FBI have had their lives completely turned upside down. Completely. I personally know two people that had their children taken away for a short time simply because they were juggalos and the local police in that area considered it a gang and because somebody called CPS on them and everything else because of their you know because of their hatchet and stuff and, and because of all the stuff they had in their, they took their kids it was very short lived but do you know what that's fucking like there's a woman who worked for the police who didn't do shit wrong? She was she didn't even consider herself a juggalo. She just listened to the music. Got fired from her job because she was involved in gang activity. So everybody can say, you know what, it's no big fucking deal. They've dropped it. It's but the problem is the repercussions. There are juggalos that have suffered from this. And that's what this march is about. This march is about saying, hey, we're good people. We're not a fucking gang. We're not these idiots that you're betraying us to be. There are a lot, hell of a lot more hardworking, good people that are juggalos than there are these fucking idiots acting like idiots. That's what we're heard about. That's what we're heard about. Because those people, the people that have suffered and gone through this bullshit because they're a juggalo, that's what this march is about. 
This is March is about trying to make it so that people can, can see that we're not bad people. That's why we want it to be a peaceful protest. Well, everybody's, well, you shouldn't, you know, just, you aren't black, you aren't, you know, you, know, you aren't uh, a minority. Well, no. But there are so many juggalos being treated badly just because of this, sig this signifier that FBI said, you know, hey, these guys are a gang. Oh, well, well, no, we were wrong. They're not a gang. But guess what? The damage was already done. And there are so many fucking places out there, so many police departments that still go by it. Are there juggalos out there that act like idiots and, and portray that? And, you go, oh, I'm glad we were signified as a gang. Fuck yeah, gang life. Yeah, yeah there are good juggalos out there like that. But there are people out here like me and many, many others. Hell, all of Carnival Spirits, we all bust our asses every day. Work. We're good people. We're good fucking people. And we're being made out to be gang members and bad people and everything else and you don't expect people to stand up for themselves and that's what ICP's doing and St. Cloud Posse is standing up for their fans making it a point hey this is not the way it is and they're asking other artists artists by the way wouldn't be where they are today if it wasn't for fucking jugglos twisted all the motherfuckers on MNE fucking Cottonmouth Kings everybody I mean, every fucking buddy, every underground rapper that has anything to do with being a Juggalo shows and everything else, the reason they are where they are is hard work from themselves, but because we help them put it, put them there. We're the ones that supported them. We're the ones that bought their music. We're the ones that that, that made sure that people knew about them. We're the ones that spread the fucking word. And we can't get that fucking support back from somebody that was introduced into this fucking world that we brought in and said hey you know what you guys are great you guys are family let's do this that's what people are angry about I'm not even going to go into the fucking psychopathic radio show last night with Young Wicked that motherfucker can take a flying bucket of rolling donut for all I care I have personal friends of personal friends who know this shit and Rob Bruce is the most honest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. People are questioning, well, that's all lies. Well, that's all lies. That wasn't lies. That man was hurt. He wasn't just angry. He was hurt. He was fucking hurt. And people need to understand that. Listening to that man speak, he was hurt. He wasn't mad. Well, no, he was mad. But he wasn't like Misery and all those guys who, you know, they have a personal connection to it. And he made it clear, that's that's not us. That's not us. That's them. And what they do is their business. He was hurt. And it killed me. It. I have been just over and over again in my mind, well, how did all this fucking happen? When did it come to this? This thing that I've been part of for 20 fucking years. Plus, 20 plus years. I've been a juggler longer than some jugglers have been alive. And it's just, it's sad. I'm sad. I'm fucking hurt by all of this. But the, the one thing I'm hurt most by is Twisted saying, hey, you know what? That's, that's cool. We'll do our paid gig down in Florida, but we're not going to do the march. We're not going to support jugglers the way they've supported us all these fucking years. And that shit, that's brutal, man. That's brutal. When motherfuckers you look up to, in a way, and, and love their music and support them and put put the food on their fucking table and the clothes on their back and their homes and everything else, we're the motherfuckers that got you there. You worked at it. You worked at it. You grinded. You made it your fucking thing, and that's awesome. And you guys are wonderful at what you do, but we put you there. Our love for you and our support for you is what puts you there. And you can't fucking give that love back when juggalos need it? What kind of shit is that? You're all over Twitter. Much, much family love. More like no family love. You don't give a fuck about juggalos. You give a fuck about the almighty dollar. And that kills me. That pains me in my fucking heart to say. Because Jamie and Paul, I've always thought were just... 
incredible artist. And funny as fuck and fun to watch and and fun to interact with. And now I find out that these people that I put on this pedestal that I put out there and I looked at and said, these guys are fucking great. Yes, hell yes, I'm going to back them up. These people that we all did that for broke my fucking heart. Broke my heart when they said, you know what? We ain't trying to support them. There is no reason or excuse in the world that you can give that will justify not being a part of that. Nothing. You may have your reasons. You may have a, 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 an explanation. None of it is going to justify essentially turning your back on the people that fucking supported you. We supported you for almost 20 years. You can't support us for one fucking day. One day. One event. You can't be there where it would be the most important of all the fucking things you could ever do. Oh, yeah, we're going to be there a juggle all day. <laughs> yeah, because you're getting paid to fucking show up. And we're paying to get in. And we're paying to see a show. But all of a sudden, when we ain't paying, you ain't showing. You tell me how that's fair. You tell me how that's family love. You tell me how that's supporting everything you built. You broke my fucking heart. You broke my fucking heart and the hearts of a whole hell of a lot of juggalos. Y'all don't like what I have to say? Man, I'm sorry. This is me. This is what I have. This is what I have to say. This, this has been part of my life for half of my life. And I'm fucking heartbroken. I am fucking heartbroken. Hurt inside by what I see. And the worst part is it's split right down the middle. And so many people don't see the reasons why this is wrong. So many people don't see the reasons why it's fucked up. There are so many juggalos I've seen videos making... What does it matter? It doesn't, it, it, that doesn't, your, their personal lives and what they did and all these, it, 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 it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just enjoy the music. You're not being affected. You're not being affected. Well, obviously, because you don't have a, a fucking police force in your town that still follows that rule. Unfortunately, there are a lot that are. I've been harassed about being a juggalo. Every time I've ever been pulled over, cops look at my fucking tattoos. Oh, you're Juggalo? I'm like, yes, officer. That's And I'm not a gang member. I'm not a gang member. Nothing like that. I'm just a fan of music. I'm part of a, of, of a group of people who love that music. I'm fucking heartbroken, man. And the worst part is, is like I said... It split people right down the middle. But in any case, just like CPN hates y'all, I love y'all. I love every one of you. And if I if I could do something to personally support every one of you, you better goddamn believe I'm going to be there. Peace. Much family love.